Another month has gone by, and another Ship My Cards shipment has come in. What's in the box? Let's find out. What's going on, guys? Matt here, back again with another video. Going to keep this short and sweet, but basically got another mail day. These mail days are great for you guys who are just keen on what I'm collecting in or investing in over the past sort of months, month and a half. As always, I'll include prices as well, just so you guys can see what I've been paying for each card. But let's start off. Um, so all up this box uh, that came in, purchased uh, in a period from a month to a month and a half, um, and total spend of around $6,200 Aussie. As always, I'll try and give comps on what I uh, bought them for um, in Aussie dollars, just so it's a little bit easier for me to remember. Um, but to start off, we've got a banger here. Um, Shea Gilgis Alexander, number to 25, PSA 9, um, and actually jersey number 2 of 25. So really happy with SGA long term. I know he's out injured right now, but really like the way um, he's been playing for OKC as a solo star um but that this cost me 750 dollars aussie but um yeah super stoked with sga right now so um this one i actually got quite cheap before he actually started to play for the nets i know a lot of um a lot a lot of whenever i try to sell cards to anyone especially if it's someone i don't know i always try and get a vibe of what what, why the person likes the player um, and Claxton was actually one that someone had actually convinced me on that he was actually going to blow up but yeah got this card quite cheap at uh, $40 actually so yeah it was a silver hollow with an auto PSA 9 so stoked about that but this was around early no, it might have been mid-February so before he'd come back um, yeah Kyler Murray, Sensations, PSA 9. Got that for around $50. Um, Colin Sexton to 140, 149, PSA 9. Uh, that one was around $150. Happy with the way Sexton's played. Um, showed me that he can be someone we can look at in the next few years as an all-star. Uh, Lamar Jackson, Field, Select, Rookie, PSA 9. As you guys saw in my video, I do think these are undervalued. Um, or select in general in the NFL is undervalued just because these um, these should be priced way more than prisms, but prisms seem to be more than selects in the NFL, which makes zero sense. Uh, next one was a package deal I got from someone on Instagram. I think it's BallerB04, so shout out to him. But um, got three Lonzo PSA 9s. Um, and a Lonzo Ball PSA 10. So that one was just over $200 Aussie. Um, I know comps now are around $350 for the four of them. So I know I got a good deal there, but um, he was quite desperate to sell them. And yeah, got a good deal on it. The man who's going to lead the revival back to Houston, KPJ. Got these in mid-February as well. Uh, $29 each. So really cheap for a slab card. Um... Yeah, I think I'm, I'm not going to be banging on about it, but SGC slabs on eBay can be quite cheap on auction. So keep an eye out for them. Um, I don't, I haven't actually looked at the quality of them, so I don't know how I'd go regrading and everything. But I mean, twenty nine dollars each for this. The card itself would be um, would have been about ten dollars less on each of them. So yeah, not a bad, not a bad one there. Uh, this one's another. Not a banger, but Russell Wilson, rookie refractor, so silver, um, PSA 9. This I got right before the trade room has started, so I got this for $680 Aussie. Um, yeah, this has actually gone up in price since, but that was quite lucky with my timing there. Again, as I just spoke about with Lamar, Kyle Murray, uh, field select, PSA 9, can't go over can't go, wrong, ugh, can't go wrong with that, but got that one for $220. Lamar was around $220 as well. Um, yeah, probably my favorite player to watch outside of Houston right now. Um, and that's the Time Lord, Robert Williams. I've been big on him now since last season. Um, I actually, you know, was a little bit worried that, um, you know, my prediction was going to be wrong, but... He's now the starting center for the Celtics. He brings so much defensively, even offensively. He's just he's just a, a massive X factor for him, and really exciting to watch. His athleticism is ridiculous, but 
Um, got this out of 149 for $110. Um, this was before he kind of blew up in price. I think I was just kind of stocking up on Robert Williams, but pretty sure I looked at, there was a recent sale for this at about $180. So I'm quite happy with this buy here. Needed a, a high-end piece of Robert Williams, if you will. Um, yeah. So my man, Gardner Minshew, Silver Prism, Select, PSA 9. This one was around 30 bucks. Markel Fultz, Prism, PSA 9, um, around $25 for that. Um, Rui, Premier, uh, Select, PSA 9. This one was $30, I think. So he's actually started to play a bit well lately. So glad with this purchase as well. Um, this one was a little bit more uh, impulse, but Justin James, Tiger Prism, PSA 9, 40 bucks. Um, I saw an auction, it was ridiculously cheap, and I was just like, you know what, like, for 40 bucks, like, why not? Um, it's a sick looking card, and he's actually starting to get some playing time for the King, so, um, yeah, not gonna... Um, you've got to take some risks sometimes when it comes to your collecting and investing, but shout out to DC Sports this next lot, but um, if you guys you shoot my cards, you've probably run across DC Sports 87. Um, they have auctions there every day, and there's like thousands every day, and it's so addicting to just go through and find cards um, and just bid on them, but yeah, you've got to go in with a plan as well, so... Um, some of these, I'll try and remember the price of them, but some of these were underpriced and some were at comps and were just plays really I was making at them. But I know this one was cheap. This is a um, Kevin Herter to $2.99. Um, I got really lucky with this. This one I got for, eight, uh, for $15. I remember that was super lucky. Um, DeAndre Hunter Astro around $7. KZ Okpala um, Choice for about $40. Denzel Mims, Orange Disco was around $8. Jerry Judy, uh, Silver Phoenix, $10. Jordan Love to $199, not $299. Um, Phoenix, this one was around $30. Joe Burrow, Silver Rookie Rising, $15. Kevin Porter Jr., Green Emergent. Uh, I got this early on, so this was about 5 bucks actually, so this was really cheap. Colin Sexton, Astro, uh, about $10. Russell Wilson, Gold Bowman was about 30 bucks, and uh, this one was very impulse as well. Um, but a Hakeem Olajuwon flit out sticker. Um, to be fair, I'm a Houston fan, so there's not really. I do need a Hakeem sort of rookie. Um, he's gotten us our only two championships, so um, I do like him as a player a lot. So, yeah. Bit of a random one here, but this one um, is a 1990 Total Recall collector set. Actually features Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, rookie card, or first card printed. Um, just thought that would be a good play at $50, and yeah. Um, thought, why not? Especially with Arnie being so iconic. All right, so this next one's huge. This is my biggest purchase so far. Um, and this is... Luka Doncic, Purple Select, PSA 9. So, got this for 1400 Aussie. Um, super stoked about this. I do think Luca's Premier stuff is undervalued because it's more short printed um, compared to the Concourse stuff. Um, and yeah, for some reason, people don't like the, the Premier level, but yeah, it's the higher level. Number to 99, super stoked with that one. Um, and one for me long term. Dante DiVincenzo, Shock PSA 9. Got that for around $25, so this one was quite cheap when I got it. Um, and then again, this is a DC Sports... <laughs> a DC Sports lot that I got. Um, so, this one was about $5. It's a Costas um, Antetokounmpo Hollow, $5. This one was $10, Terrence Mann. Um, I've actually been big on Terrence Mann for a while. He's actually started to blow up a bit lately, which is good, but he's been playing quite well, which has been good. Terrence Mann, ah, oh, sorry, Terrence Mann. Shea Gilds Alexander's second year scope. This one was around $10. Monty Morris to $2.99. Um, select, he's a good player off the bench for the Nuggets. This one was uh, $10 as well. Mamba's Choice, Con Sexton. I got this for $20, which is unders. Um, this sort of set is iconic because people love the Kobe in the background. 
with a young player, and it's Colin Sexton's rookie as well, so that was that was a good buy. Jonathan Isaac, um, this one was ten dollars. This one, Justin Patton, Houston's center. He played a few games. I don't even know if he's playing anymore because I haven't really been tracking Houston, but um, this one was three dollars. So I was just glad to glad to get that, <laughs> just to collect a Houston player. Um, De'Aaron Fox, Pacific Marquee. I think these are a case hit. But this one was ten. I think it might have been fifteen dollars actually. Cost us to one ninety nine. Um, Optic, this one was $10, no, $5, $5. Um, Bam Adebayo Vanguard to 49 if I'm right. Yep, this one was 40 bucks. Jaron Jackson, um, Optic Rookie, this one was $5. Candace Parker, Prism, I don't know, this was more, again, impulse buy, but this one was like $6, but she's a good player in the dummy NBA, so first Prism, just thought, why not? Um, this one's a sick one. Calvin Ridley to 24, jersey numbered. Uh, I got this for $130. Uh, underpriced compared to the unnumbered um, variations, and it's jersey numbered as well. So I was, I was super stoked to get this one. Um, yeah, and I really think he's got a bright future at Atlanta. He's very, very sneakily good. Um, yeah, really good player. Cody Martin, Spectra, RPA. This one was $15, number to 25. Um, Denzel Mims, Orange Disco. This one was $8. I th actually like Mims as a cheap option if any of you guys um, are looking for that in the NFL. Um, if he gets a new quarterback, I think he's going to be he's going to blow up quite quietly. And a Landry Shamet, Silver Prism. This one was like 5 bucks. I remember I got this really under... Um, what it should have been. All right, so next one, we got Darius Garland to 199 Premium Hoops. Uh, this one was about 15 bucks. Chase Young, Prism. I do, I really want to start buying more of Chase Young. I do think, I know the word generational gets thrown out a lot, but I do think he's a generational defensive player in the NFL. Um, so yeah, I want to be buying up more of him, but just not sure if I have the funds to really spread it towards him. Darius Slayton, who will be helped with the Kenny Golladay addition to the Giants. Jalen Noel, Mosaic to 99. This one was like 10 bucks. Good, cheap option. I mentioned him in my TikTok. Um, and he's, yeah, had a few good games, which is really good. Siakam. Um, I'm happy to admit now that I'm probably wrong about the Raptors and I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. But, yeah, a little bit surprising for that team. But, um, yeah, got, that, got this one for around $10. Rookie Royalty, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, OG Ananobi, uh, Rookie Auto. Uh, these were each about 15 bucks. Um, Jordan Love, really like Jordan Love if you guys have seen my NFL video. I um, think he's, yeah, if he's learning from Aaron Rodgers and just has time to develop, things can only really go up from there for him. This one was around 20 bucks. Terrence Mann, this one was $5. This was a mojo, so again, bought in when he was quite cheap. Gavin Lux, don't know much about baseball, but I know he's been talked about a fair bit. Um, and I did this last year where I bought a lot of uh, Juan Soto, Tatis, and Louis, Lewis Robert. Um, and they've seemed to, I don't know, sorry, and Ronald Acuna as well. So people sp spoke about these guys a fair bit. And Gavin Lux is one that I've been hearing a lot of. So yeah, for five, for I think this was about $8 actually. So $8 for this. Um, yeah, thought why not? Um, Lowry Markinen, Prism, rookie, been playing very well. He nearly got traded, actually, but he's been playing very well. I don't know why they would even trade him. Um, I don't know if his defense is still quite crappy, but yeah. <laughs> this one here is a bit more your alternative sports card, but Clarissa Shields, if any of you guys know who she is, she's um, renowned as the, the GOAT female boxer. Um, but these are the tops um, Olympic cards. So they have variations. So you have your bronze, your silver, and then your golds. Um, and these, obviously the golds are the more rarest, and then silver, and then bronze, and then base. Um, but I just thought that was a sneaky good play at around $60 for the whole lot. Um, yeah, go. If I think you can't really go wrong with the goats. Like, in some way, someone's going to want one of their rookies. As you guys saw in my last SMC, uh, Ship My Cards, um, Shipment, you guys saw I bought my Michael Phelps 
auto as well as a Usain Bolt um, rookie card. So I don't think you can go wrong with them. Um, so this one, if you guys have any more of these, please hit me up. Um, I've really liked them a lot, but the Noir out of 10 rookie patches. This is Jalen Brunson. So this one was $25. They're numbered to 10, but I just really like the patch on them. Liz Cambridge Prism, first Prism card. Got this one actually for my girlfriend who loves Liz Cambridge as an athlete. Um, all right. So if you guys know the, the Will Smith card that's been popping up on hoops, um, I saw that and kind of anticipated this card might be the next one. Um, and I don't think it actually has popped off, but it's the Denzel Washington hoops. It's actually Denzel Washington's first card printed. So if you're looking in terms of iconic sort of actors or anything like that, as I just spoke about with Arnold, um, I think this is another good one. Like I think I, I paid up paid like five dollars for all five of them so quite cheap again for those uh norman powell got this one for 15 bucks this was really cheap i got this before it was blowing up again um in price sometimes if an unknown player just blows up in, uh like starts playing very well like maybe has a three or four game span look at their cards because sometimes the market just lags behind and um yeah this was the case with norman powell 100 percent because no one really i mean in Toronto, you've got Siakam, Ananobi, Lowry, Van Fleet, uh, Boucher. Um, yeah, you've got a really good team there. So no one really speaks about you know, Norman Powell because he's not really known as well. So just a key tip if you want to get some sneaky good profit on a card. Um, this guy's been playing very well at Brooklyn. Uh, it's a 299 to 149, Bruce Brown. Uh, this one was... Ooh, this one was 20 bucks and then this one was 35 so um yeah he's been playing very well i think him and harden are a very good pairing and although he's a guard he's actually like i know houston played small ball center with pj tucker but bruce brown's actually been playing small ball center for brooklyn with jordan and well, claxon was out um but he's actually smaller than pj tucker which is quite funny um, Gardner Minshew to 75 field um, got this one for 30 bucks massive collector of Gardner Phil Jackson tops rookie um, ordered this a couple months ago but only took ages to come in so um, as I spoke about my undervalued players video I think he's iconic greatest coach of all time going to be in the Kobe documentary um, yeah great play if you've, if you've got extra cash alright so next up DeAndre Hunter um wasn't a massive fan of him last season, but has shown a lot this year. Um, and I was just basically buying the injury dip um, with how cheap he got. So this one was 50 bucks, and then this one was 20. So um, yeah, happy with that one. Um, if you guys watch my undervalued or cheap, cheap undervalued sort of playoff player video, you know I picked Mike Conley. Um, Tops rookie card from an iconic set, two to three dollars a pop. Can't go wrong. And with, with how good Utah is, I know how good Donovan Mitchell is. He can't carry that load. Players like Bojan Bogdanovic and Mike Conley, um, Jordan Clarkson, they're going to have to step up. Um, you can't solely rely on one player. Rod Laver, my friend Van on Instagram actually uh, told me about this. It's actually not his rookie card, as, um, as I found out. It's actually his second year card, but still a nice little vintage card there. Raheem Sterling, first year select. Um, to 299. Um, two and rookies. Um, and a, Low a Lowry Markinen Prism rookie again, and a Shea Gildas Alexander Select rookie. Um, these two were $20 each. This one was $5, and then this one was $15. So I actually got, yeah, when he was injured, and then when Shea was injured initially, um, I was buying them both up a fair bit because, yeah, like again, as I said, buy the injury dip. As long as it's not um, something that will affect them long term. Again, going with the Terrence Mann theme, um, Red Wave Mosaic. This one was around eight bucks, I think. Seiku Optic Hollow. He's actually fallen off a cliff, but this one I actually just bought this because how, how cheap it was. This one was seven bucks, so um, he was the youngest player in that draft class last year. So I thought, why not? Just give him a go. Uh, Larry Fitz, Tops Rookie. This one was $25. This one I got for 8 bucks. I got really lucky with this one. Ty Jerome, 
to 88 Optic. He's actually been getting some playing time for the OKC Thunder. Probably will get more time now that Shea's injured. Siakam, again, Optic Rookie, 10 bucks. Jerry Judy, Prism Rookie, 8 bucks. Uh, Jordan Love, Origins Patch, this is sick, but got this for about 30 bucks. So, really believe in Jordan Love, as again, as I said. Mikhail Bridges, Prism Auto, 20 bucks there. And then this one was stupid cheap. It was in a lot, again, so... If it's in a lot, as I've said in previous videos, um, it can mean that they've already been looked at for grading and then they're not worthy, but um, these were about six bucks each. Um, so it was $30 all up, but it was six bucks each for, um, yeah, for them in the lot. So um, that was, yeah, I'm just like, why not? Just go for it, really. Um, and if any of them are gradable, then that's a win automatically. Shea, Tricolor, this one I got at 60 bucks, I think. Um, and then this next one, I actually got this um, in a lot. I'm not a Josh Hart collector, but he almost, it, it's not the full rainbow, but he almost had a full set. Um, I just thought, why not? Um, and he threw in some extras, but this one was 50 bucks, uh, $57. So this one actually has the impact, the cosmic, the sunburst, and the cubic, and the lava. So um, yeah, so this one's the cosmic. Astro, Groove, Base, um, Misprinted um, Cards, it's actually a second year card. This one's Lava, no this is not Lava, this is um, this is Sunburst, sorry. Sunburst, that's the Lava, I'm pretty sure. Yep, to 10. Um, and then you've got uh, Chinese New Year, no Impact, sorry, my bad. Ch uh, Impact, Chinese New Year, uh, Fractal. And, and then you've got his second year stuff. And then you've got um, Cubic. So yeah, I just thought that was a cool one to, to buy. Um, and then to finish off, just got a couple more cards, but uh, Harry Kane's um, Select first year to 199. I love watching Harry Kane. Um, well, I don't watch soccer really, but I watched that Tottenham documentary. I just really liked the way he went about it. And then the last card, Al Iverson, Topps rookie card. Um, got this one for about 70 bucks but yeah bought that one so yeah that's it for today's video guys um just again a recap of what i've been buying um in terms of my collection and investment over the past uh, month and a half all up total spend about 6200 dollars again shout outs to ship my cards for having this service um whenever you get a shipment in it's honestly like christmas like i can't explain it unless you've actually had it happen to you but like ha unless you've um bought from them before but it's literally like christmas so um as always if you guys have stayed to the end of the video i appreciate it um give us a like and hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and i'll see you guys in future videos take care <laughs>